Hey everyone, how's it going? We have our first 2024 C8 Corvette. Now in 2024, they ditched the uh, pearl, the white pearl metallic tri-coat and they've replaced it with Arctic white. And what we have in here is our Arctic white 3LT Corvette Stingray with a black and white color scheme. We're gonna be putting Autobahn incognito paint protection film on it. We're gonna be doing the hood, uh, front bumper, all the carbon, carbon fiber and carbon flash pieces, as well as the fenders, mirrors, the roof line, and then the side skirts. So come check this out. Okay, so one of the things that we always do with our C8 Corvettes, and I think I've probably done 30 of these, um, we're kind of the go-to for Corvettes in the area. Um, this is our uh, most popular car I think I do. Um, we take the emblem off the front bumper. Uh, we didn't used to, but these are uh, inconsistently placed. So it's just overall over the last year or so, uh, I've been taking them all off and replacing them. They're all about the same distance uh, from the bottom. And then we're also gonna be doing some iron and fallout remover on this. So white cars are especially easy to see if you ever see those tiny little rust spots in your vehicle and it's a light colored car. It, what happens is, is iron gets embedded in the paint on the rail system or in the cargo shipping container or whatever. And we don't want that little rust spot to show up um, no matter what, but we certainly don't want it to show up on a white vehicle. So I'm gonna take you through the prep process now. All right, so what I said uh, at the, the last section is we're gonna put this iron and fallout remover on. And you know iron and fallout remover is reacting with metal embedded in the paint when it starts turning purple. So we're gonna find out just how much fallout is in this car. And sometimes it's not as, sometimes it's really bad. And then sometimes it's not as bad as you would think. And I, and I attribute to that, I attribute that to a lot of these cars are shipped in protective vinyl wrap. And sometimes we even see the adhesive residue from when the dealer removed it. So when the cars are shipped like that, there's typically less iron and embedded in the paint. All right, so the good news for us is there's no, there's no reaction. There's like one little piece, which means there's very little to no iron embedded in the paint. So this probably had some, some sort of vinyl protective wrap on it when it was shipped, my guess. Um, so now what I'm gonna use is American Detailer Garage F-Bomb, and this is our multi-purpose cleaner, and that gets in the crevices, it dislodges dirt, it cleans wheels. It's really just one of my favorite products. I use this, you know, gallons and gallons of this every month. Um, it's probably my favorite. And, you know, you can buy some of this too at americandetailergarage.com and you can use HHCC10 for 10% off. I don't get any money from that. Um, it's just a tracking code. So feel free to, to get some 10% off products there from American Detailer Garage. I got a lot of great products. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna foam can in the car and then I'm gonna use the foam to clay bar the paint and use the detail brush to get in the crevices and then we're gonna be good to go. 